Did you know that under this dry land, there lies a field of energy just waiting to be used and come to life above the ground? Farmer-managed natural regeneration teaches farmers how the simple act of pruning can release the energy of deep underground root systems. It sounds complicated, but it's actually very simple. Good pruning practices stimulate the growth of trees and shrubs that regenerate naturally in the fields. The presence of trees can increase yields, protect the crops from floods and droughts, increase soil fertility, and at the same time, the farmer can benefit from the byproducts of the trees like fruits and fodder. Well, the trees are not to be bought again. They are already in the soil. They are already existing. So the duty of the farmer is to take good care of the trees so that the tree will bring a, a good soil and then help the crops to also grow. These trees are important to the soil at the same time the farmer too. As climate change suggests, we need to have more trees. The existing trees we have will try to reduce flooding and heat waves, which will also reduce erosion. The people of Laura were seeing their yields decrease which made their already hard life even more economically challenging. But several years ago, the farmers in the community started implementing farmer-managed natural regeneration. I will we need to train farmers in the community level to stop cutting trees and then for the policy makers too they also need to provide a lot of incentives for farmers so that they reduce the cutting down of economic trees like uh, dawa dawa and, and shear trees Policy recommendation. Support the wide upscaling of farmer-managed natural regeneration systems on community and household level for smallholder farmers.